Hey guys, um, it's Mike here. Welcome to another video. It's early, early morning. Um, basically, I'm doing this video today because I've got something on my mind. And as you can see the title, I wanted to clarify a few things. And basically, from around about the end of 2015, it was around about June 2015, I started doing a few of these videos um, and, and vlogs changing the way kind of my channel worked and the reason why I did this and I want to point this out because my channel's not monetized and I don't you know to kind of do my YouTube thing for the views at all you know I do it kind of as, as as my little soapbox in a sense but the channel used to be about things where I'd go around interview people I would make videos like game reviews do a few things like E Tank, which was the thing that I did with Xander Scullion, and and basically discuss like certain core subjects in gaming. And I did a podcast as well. I got gameplay. So for most people who don't know any of that, that's what I you know what I've done. Um, and then something happened. The channel changed. I, I became homeless. I attempted to kind of put my life back on track got myself a like a, a job that I could do uh, I was doing a lot of freelancing in hopes to kind of get myself sorted because my main career was doing like film and TV um, and kind of one bad decision in a sense lost me a lot of money and um, it's one of those things in a sense where you can either do two things you can find a way to dig yourself out of your hole or find a way to dig yourself even deeper, you know, and that's the way that things go, it's the way that life goes. And that led me to kind of doing a vlog channel, because it was easier to do, easier to produce, I didn't have to edit anything because I didn't have any equipment on me to do so, and just basically use my phone, my iPhone 5, um, to do that, which a friend of mine gave me as kind of a gift, uh, as a way to, for me to keep in touch with people. And then I started seeing a few things happening on YouTube. A few people basically talking like to their fan base, treating people like dirt and like numbers. And this is kind of the thing that I got angry with because I believe in people. You know, I'm from, if you talk to any one of my friends on YouTube or out of the in, inside or out of the internet, um, I believe in people. I believe everyone has the ability to make something of themselves and everyone has the ability to do great things. And then a few people that I was friends with, a few people I appreciated, and a few people who I looked up to started doing very shady things in order to make more money off of YouTube, Patreon, etc. Now, I'm going to point this out. I have no issue with you monetizing your channel, and I have no issue with you putting Patreon on your channel. You've got the fan base, people are willing to pay you to do that. That's great. Uh, the, the thing that I kind of like got annoyed with in terms of Patreon is when people started misusing it because uh, you know some people call it as a chip tip jar others use it kind of as a platform where people get extra perks in order to get you know extra benefits from it I had a friend of mine who was a very close friend he had a, he has a YouTube channel it's a very big YouTube channel he changed everything about that channel as soon as he opened the Patreon, kept doing vlogs and clickbait videos in order to garner more views. And he also did one thing where he made a solemn promise to people that if you donated over three grand, he would quit his job and do the YouTube thing full time, which is fine. The thing I found out was he actually quit his job when he made that Patreon video and opened the Patreon because he, he thought this money's going to come rolling in and I'm going to get more money. It backfired. People found out, and the individual in question got a lot of heat over it. It kind of begun the whole YouTube downtrend with a lot of big tubers. And, and this is the problem. And this is the problem that I've had with it. Because there are a lot of people who struggle to make money doing their careers, right? And, you know, actors, writers, directors and stuff, they, they struggle to make money doing their careers. It's very... It's a, one of those industries where it's very few people make big with this. And if you do, you have to hold on to that spot. 
And I understand that, you know, as me being someone who's worked in the industry and I've had a lot of successes and I've had a lot of fails. It happens. And the one thing I don't like is lying to people and treating them like numbers. That's, that's the big thing I have. And this is the big issue here. And I'm pointing this out because I, I've gotten a lot of heat as of late because people think I'm randomly attacking people for views or I'm randomly attacking people because I hate Patreon. I don't. So I understand the need of that little cushion to kind of make things work. It's there to help you build and expand your channel even more. Some people use it to make their channel a lot better and buy better and newer equipment. Others use it as a way to kind of, as a tip jar in a sense, because people can like, hey, you know, like someone busking on the street. And I understand that totally. But the moment that you use it in such an inappropriate manner, I basically call people out. And I've always called people out on bullshit. Like people have called me out on my bullshit. If I've done something wrong or I'm not perfect as a human being, people have called me out and I've been okay with that. I've looked at it, I've looked at it as a term of reflection, and I've came back stronger, and that's what you're supposed to do. Criticism isn't a bad thing, right? Most people make their careers on YouTube criticizing things, criticizing copyrighted content, criticizing copyrighted music, criticizing copyrighted movies. People do this, and it's allowed people to expand themselves to make a career out of YouTube. And I've got no issue with it. Two things. When you lie to your audience and when you manipulate your audience into giving you money, that's when I had an issue. When somebody attempts to milk their YouTube fame as much as they can to get as much money as they can from people to line their own pockets and then want more, it's a vicious circle. It's greed. And then you alienate the people who originally supported you which is where the issue, main issue has been. Now, I'm not going to name names in this video today because I've done that. If you want to see some of my past videos, I've named names and talked about all these discussions with people. But anyway, back to the whole person manipulating Patreon thing. I stopped talking to this guy after he did that. you know, And there was a lot of more other rumours going around as to the way he manipulated people into giving him money. I'm not, you know, as being someone who tries to live his life the right way, I'm not super perfect, but I always try to live my life the right way, and I always basically try and use as much morals and common sense as I can. You know, I am very well spoken, but most people are like, oh, you're, you, you think you're super intelligent. But I try to basically use my morals and common sense to understand that, you know, for those struggling artists, for those people who make comic books, for those people who do drawings, for those sketch artists, for those people who basically make commissions, they need all the money they can get to kind of live and do their career because it takes a lot to do it. Making YouTube videos takes a lot to do it depending on how you do them. If you're making great content and you're basically doing something that requires a lot of lighting and effects and stuff and you're doing all the editing, then yes, it takes a freaking a frick load of time. Or if you're you know, hiring an editor out, it takes a lot of time to do. When you're doing a vlog, it's pretty much the same as what I've done here. I've got a camera, it's talk I'm talking, I'm using it, it's kind of my little soapbox, and that's it. You know, I'm not gonna ask people to basically donate to me on Patreon to do this. There is no point. I can do a hell of a lot more, but I don't see it as my thing. And no matter how bad my life has gotten, I've never basically, in any sense or purpose, tried to use Patreon or Indiegogo or anything as a way for me to gain any personal finances about it. Because this is the thing, and this is the thing that I take from it. When you ask someone to give you something, it's a very limited trend, and people eventually will get fed up of it. When you work towards something, it shows, you know, I'm very proud of my achievements in life, getting my degree, starting up a film production company, basically making small little successes in order to build my portfolio and my career up. And I'm proud of everybody that I've basically known who uses Patreon to help build and fund their careers. Touring artists, right, who without Patreon could not put out albums, EPs, could not tour around the world the way that they want to in order to achieve successes. These people need Patreon. 
a struggling artist doing comic books and other web things and, and basically attempting to build up a big enough portfolio so that they, they can try and go to places like Marvel and DC and, and the big comic book companies in order to achieve what they want and make great content. They're the guys that need Patreon. The guys that basically create YouTube content that's pretty much similar to a TV show, they have a Patreon, they deserve it. Gaming podcast, well, not even gaming podcasts, podcasts in general that need that extra little bit of help to kind of build and maintain their servers and build up the podcast itself in order to allow them to do these podcasts and bring them out to their very vast audience. They need the Patreon. My big issue is when someone comes in and says, well, if you want me to come down to your house and party with you, but you know, you can put money in my Patreon or do you... If you basically want to talk to me on Facebook, then you put money into my Patreon. Oh, if you want to basically have access to loads of stuff I've hidden behind a paywall, including copyrighted content, which basically would have gotten given a copyright strike, then you provide me money to my Patreon. And it annoys me as well, you know. And, and this is the thing, the other thing that kind of annoyed me, and the one reason why I'm doing this video today. I'm basically when people have a very selective memory <laughs> on the way that the internet works and they, they, they do they have a very select memory in terms of how the internet works and how many mistakes people have made. I remember the amount of heat that John Gamester got over the whole Mike Kennedy Calico Chameleon retro VGS situation which you know truthfully he was very honest and very um, you know candid and humble about the situation and apologised, even though he shouldn't really have to apologise to people. Um, and no money was taken from people. Zero. Nothing. You know, we found out that, he was a, that Mike Kennedy was doing shady things, and it was put a stop to, and nothing was lost. Nothing was gained, nothing was lost. Then you have situations like Comcept where they've taken people for a ride and it's been over nearly nearly close to five years and we haven't seen a game. Or we've had a situation with, um, say, a, a well-known YouTuber basically wanting us to fund his road trip via Indiegogo. And again, money was nearly lost because people actually backed it. People have a very selective memory in terms of the way people behave and the way people do things and it's because you like someone and I'm not going to freaking hate on anybody for liking someone and liking who they are but the one thing I always used to say to people and this is the thing that I'm stupid for and I'm going to admit my fault here I believe that everybody has an, a, a kind of objectified opinion on things you know and people can see both sides and understand who's being shady and who isn't but our judgment gets clouded all of our judgments do. Hell, when my friend originally released his Patreon video, or my former friend, should I say now, because we don't talk anymore, but when my former friend released his Patreon video and basically said to people, hey, you know, this is just for the channel, it's not for me, it's not going to fill my pockets or anything like that, and then basically outright lied to his audience, I thought nothing of it to begin with. I sat there and went, oh, actually, I, I don't know if that's the right thing to do. And when I pulled them up on it, he basically blocked me. And I sat there and I and I kind of mulled on it. And then when I when I attempted to kind of call them out on it, people got offensive. You know, they, they got offended. And they got offensive. <laughs> Defensive, should I say about it. And then I, I kind of realized the fact that this was happening a lot. But the problem is, and I'm holding my hands up right now. You can't change people's opinions. You can't change the way people think. You can't change the way that people are. Because it, it it's exactly the way that the political environment has gone in this country. Where we're having rich people who have abused our system and claimed benefits and have taken and taken and taken from the poorer who want to basically eliminate Poor people, you know, there's figures, people dying, but no one gives a fuck. And I try to make a difference. I've, I've always, with these videos, I've always tried to talk about my issues and use it as a way for people to reflect and say, if he's going through shit, maybe I can basically, you know, live another day. 
And I'm not saying that I inspire people. You know, I do have gotten a couple of messages where people have said, you've inspired me by the fact that you keep striving and you keep trying to push yourself. But that's the thing. I shouldn't be anyone's babysitter. I shouldn't be the guy pointing all this shit out because in the end, there are going to be a majority who are just going to do what the fuck they want anyway. And my opinion is not going to change your opinion. My opinion is not going to change your perception of what you think people are like. Because in the end, you have to do that. That's your thing. And if you feel that I'm basically being an ass and higher than thou and all this and that, ball, and I think I'm better than everyone, I don't. I don't think I'm better than anyone. Actually, I think I'm worse because I've made a hell of a lot of bad decisions in my life. I'm going through one of them at the moment, if you've actually watched the videos. I've got a freaking very vindictive person in my life attempting to basically drive me into suicide. Check out my abuse story. You'll know what the whole thing about it. And doing this channel, doing the YouTube videos, it keeps me sane. But I will effectively say today, I'm going to stop talking about people misusing Patreon and shit and people who take their advantage of their fans because you know what these videos are? They're there for a reason and they're there to educate. But truthfully, they're toxic. Because the problem is, the fan bases for these people are always going to think the way that they're going to think. You cannot attempt to climb a wall that is never ending. And as long as the fan base is acceptable to these practices, just like you have people in governments when people are, are acceptable to the way Kim Jong-un runs his country, right? And they're, they're upset. They're not upset about the fact that this guy is basically raping and pillaging his own people. No one's going to do anything about it. If you find being in the gutter acceptable and having someone take every penny from you acceptable, you're not going to do anything about it. And yes, I do agree. If you don't like it, don't pay towards these Patreons, which is what I don't do. Um, but if I did, I know where my money would go. You know, uh, any successes I have, I try to contribute and help my friends. You know, the people that mean a lot more to me and the people that I'm proud of. And, I'm, and I keep a very select few. And most of these guys are guys and girls that are humble, that are great people and that never try to do anything shady. Hell, I had one of my friends come to me, I remember when something went wrong with his Kickstarter because he couldn't meet one of the goals and said, what should I do? And I went, just be honest. Be honest with the reason why you can't meet this goal. Why this has happened, why this perk can't be met. And I think your fan base will be you know, more receptive to it, and truthfully, that's what it, they've done, and I always live my life for honesty, because I always try to be a good person, I'm not a religious man, but I always try to be an honest person, because I want my children to grow up to be honest people, and I want my children to grow up to be people that understand that the world may be a shitty place, but as long as you stay honest, and stay humble, and stay caring, you know, and you have the right to care, we all have the right to care, then maybe, just maybe, we can make this world a little bit better. And that's the main thing. And let me reiterate, I have no issue with Patreon. I have no issue with these crowdfunding websites. The misuse of the things that I had an issue with. And it's happened a lot. And I've always called it out. Will I keep calling it out? No. I'm done with it. And I'm, as I said, I'm done with it because I'm just... There's no point anymore. I don't care about the harassment. I've taken a lot of freaking abuse. I've had people telling me to go kill myself. I, I don't care about the harassment from it. Because at the end of the day, it was my opinion. And if you didn't like it, don't come here and start talking to me about it. Because in the end, you have the right to your opinion as well. But you have no right to sit there and slag someone off and abuse them. But that's just me. And... The abuse wasn't the reason why I'm stop why I'm quitting. It's because I can't get through to anyone, and that's the truth. I can't get through to anyone. I'm not here to get through getting through to anyone. I'm not here to getting through to like anyone else. In the end, I'm just going to do what I do. And if people appreciate what I make or the content I make and appreciate who I am, then thank you for sticking by me. If you are come here for 
rant videos about Patreon and me calling out YouTubers, that's not going to happen anymore. I'm going to basically produce more of the British reviews again because I'm going to get some of my equipment back to do that. Kind of get my head out of my ass for a little bit and try and focus on good things. I'm going to try and be a bit more positive, but I'm still going to review and critique stuff and I'm still going to talk and discuss things that I have an issue with in life. And also talk about my journey because that's what this channel is about, Mike's journey. You know, my experiences in life and hopes that, you know, everybody else, every awesome person out there can take a little bit from it and sit there and go, you know what? At least I see that I'm not the only one going through shit. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's a bit long, but I had to basically like do something small and, and just discuss this. Because in the end, without discussion, without communication, without a dialogue, then we're just Neanderthals. You know, we have the ability to talk things over and to point out things and talk about opinions and discuss things. But hey, hope most people understand. Do apologise if you don't. If you, that's what you came here for, then hey, what can I say? Have a lovely one. I love you all. Thank you to everybody and I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you from those who basically hate on me for all the, the good that I try to do and for those who love me for all you know for the content that I create and I know I'm not the, the, the stuff that I make isn't amazing and glamorous but I do try. Have a good one.